Much Ado About Something. Good morning. It's January 25th, and I'm glad you're here. Well, normally I'm doing the pantry challenge. I'm not going to be cooking today. I'm not doing the pantry challenge as far as cooking goes. I'm just eating what I made yesterday. So it's a leftover day, but I wanted to come and talk with you and share with you today some of my thoughts on decorating. So today I'll be decorating the bathroom for Valentine's Day and just putting some touches throughout the house and sharing with you what I am going to do in that dining area. You know, I've spoke with you a couple of times that I'm planning on kind of incorporating a, an apple theme into my dining area because that's what my, my, my mom and her family did when they were growing up. They were um, orchard pickers and they moved around a lot and they did that and that's a special place in my heart. I still return to those orchards every year and buy my apples and visit. And the last time that I went, I bought an apple bucket. Well, I am going to try and incorporate some of that into my decor. And today, I just give you some thoughts on that. It's not, I didn't get any decorating done, but I'm sharing some thoughts that I have with you on that and sharing with you just um, around the house today. Thank you for joining me today. I'm glad that you're here. You're in the right place if you like lifestyle, budget-friendly home and garden because that's what this channel is all about. And I'm always glad to welcome you here. Good morning. Well, we're here in the bathroom today, and I thought it was the perfect time to go ahead and start decorating a little bit for Valentine's Day. Now, I've picked up a Valentine's Day shower curtain. I got this off of Amazon, so we're going to change the shower curtain, which has a huge impact on this little bathroom. And there we go. As simple as that, just one little change in the shower curtain instantly gives you Valentine's Day decor. It's really cute. I really like it. It's bright. It tells you what kind of season it is. And I've got a kitty in the bathtub. He likes to just get in here and look around. Scratch on the shower curtain. But I thought I'd let you know he was back there in case he jumped out. <laughs> but this is the uh, Valentine's Day decor for the bathroom. I'm just going to put up this shower curtain. It's as cute as it can be. And... There, we got instant Valentine's Day decor. I always change the soap out for whatever holiday it is. So I'm going to put this little uh, fancy wrapped soap right here on the soap dish. And I'm going to put this little ball that says love. It's just a decor L uh, item. And I actually got that from Habitat for Humanity. So I'm going to put that right up there. And there you go. Now, I picked up a two-pack of hand towels from, um, I'm, I'm not sure if it was two J, uh, TJ Maxx or Home Goods, but right here he comes right out of there. So, he's going to come out from behind this shower curtain. Cookie, you coming out? Come on. Come on. There you go. He saw me messing with the shower curtain. He thought that looked like fun. I picked this up from TJ Maxx, or it may have been Home Goods, but it's just a little hand towel with hearts on it. I've got a hand towel holder right here beside of the sink, so I'm going to go ahead and hang this kitchen towel, or this hand towel. It's not a kitchen towel if it's in the bathroom, is it? I thought it would look just pretty in here in the bathroom. So now I've got that in here in the bathroom, and there you go. It's just simple touches. And we're instantly decorated for Valentine's Day in here in the bathroom. I did not buy a special hand soap for Valentine's Day. I have yet to find a dispenser, a soap dispenser that's uniquely for Valentine's Day. But if I do find one, I'll be sure and share it with you. I'm still using the little January um, soap dispenser. Well, I am in the process of decorating the house a little bit for Valentine's Day. Now, I'm not going overboard. I'm not just making everything Valentine's Day or decorations or just putting up everything everywhere. I'm just in incorporating a few subtle touches in each room to just kind of uh, remind us that it is what time of the year it is. And, of course, here in the bathroom, I'm... 
I've got the shower curtain, which is the biggest impact in the bathroom, and I'm really enjoying it. Now, I absolutely love to decorate. I enjoy decorating. It's been an artistic expression for me ever since I've been keeping my own house. Many years ago when I started homemaking, that was one of the things that I love to express my artistic ability in, was, the, was to um, decorate in things that I love. Now there's a lot of different styles of decorating and you'll hear people say, well, I don't do trends. Well, I'm not a real trendy person either, but I do see the value in trend and I do enjoy some of the trends that come up I do, uh, if it's some element of it that I like, I will incorporate it into my uh, decor style. But in general, the way I decorate is with things that I truly love or things that mean something to me, things that I enjoy. Now, my problem is, is I enjoy a lot of things. I find beauty in truly beauty in the simple things. I have long since learned my style. I know what my style is. But I do border on eclectic sometimes. I do cross over into other styles with what I have. I will sometimes combine old and new. Now I'm going to do a little redecorating here in my dining room. Not today because I hadn't quite figured out what I'm going to do. Now I've got these dark things that are hanging up here. They're kind of moody. I think they call it moody art because uh, the dark frames, the dark shelf, and the dark patina that's on some of the silver stuff that I've got here. I don't keep it shiny. I just let it uh, age to kind of a dark patina on these things. I love this picture. I love it. I probably shared with you guys that I went on a antiquing trip with a couple of my friends and I spotted this in an antique store for $20. I could barely contain myself. I couldn't hardly get over there to it fast enough. Now it's got a little bit of damage right here, which does not bother this piece of art. It does not hinder the quality of this art for me in any way whatsoever. Now I knew when I saw that, that I wanted that, and I wanted it for my dining area. And so, I did. I picked it up and I put it right in here in my dining room. And it wasn't long after that that I, I saw this little shelf at an antique store. I know it's a Hobby Lobby shelf, but I guess somebody bought it, it uh, sorry, bought it, didn't want it, and put it in their antique booth. So I bought that shelf and then I added those little uh, silver and crystal elements to it as it went on. Now across the dining area I've got just little things that I really enjoy there's an enamel lid this old um, eggs apples bread a teapot from uh, probably the 1930s I want to say that's about a 30s print and then that little be joyful and always pray because those are things that I like to see and my son bought me that print of that ball jar when he went on vacation he saw that and thought of me and that's a signed print he met the artist and he bought that print from her I love blue and white and I love old ironstone there's another old print about the same period as this one and it has tomatoes and walnuts on it there are the spoon and fork that I fed my babies with and I've got it framed and up over this picture there is a blue willow platter that I think is beautiful. A friend gave that to me. And there's an old uh, butter mold or a mold for, I forgot what that stuff is called when it's made from uh, beef and uh, it's a gelatinous mold. It's something they, I think it's called aspic. It's an old aspic mold there. And then I've got uh, the pantry, and over here I've got the chickens. I'm showing you the upper wall decor because I don't have a lot down on the floor. I don't have a lot of decor down there. And of course, here are the plants. The plants are here where they can get sun near the door. I've got this clock, which I need to change that out. That clock has since stopped working. And then over here, I've got this moody 
uh, print, which is huge. It's a large print that my sister bought for me, and I love it. I love that beautiful fruit and that moodiness. Now, I took the art that I had here down. I took it down because uh, I did Candy Cane Lane right here for the kids. And I'm, then I've got the bakery sign, and then across here I've got a hand-stitched squash blossoms and blooms that I just love it because... I'm a gardener, and that little piece of art really spoke to me. I've got eat. I've got a piece of farmhouse tin that's got farmhouse on it. My husband was raised on a farm. He was raised in a farmhouse when he was growing up. And my daughter bought me this friends and family plate years ago, and I've got a, a copper accent. And then I, around, I've just got some stuff here on top of my china cabinet. And so there's just, there's a lot of things in here. But what I've got going on are things that I love. Well, I shared with you how I bought an apple bucket. This apple picking basket right here. I was able to buy that from the orchard the last time we went and uh, bought apples. I want to incorporate that apple pickle picking bucket into my decor because it means a lot to me. That's what my mother and her family did when they were growing up. Now this apple picking bucket is they use these sometimes but more times than not they used apple picking bags that were canvas bags with leather trim and leather handles now they had one of those there too but I chose this because I thought I would be able to incorporate this into my decor scheme a lot easier than I would have that bag and then I found this print at a really great deal now this is a huge huge print to give you an idea about how big this print is I've got the tape measure out let's see if I can and this print is three feet and eight inches that's how wide this print is and it is two feet and ten inches tall. Two feet ten inches tall and three feet eight inches wide. So this is a really big, big print. And to incorporate this print into my kitchen, there's only one wall that could that could support that that size of a picture in my dining area. And as you can see they're picking apples. Very old, old-timey way of picking apples. They would put a sheet under there and shake the apples off. That's not how Mama and them picked them. They picked them individually as they ripened because there's a lot of waste in this type of picking. But still, the concept is the same, and I thought it was a beautiful print. So I bought that, and here is the dining area. The only wall that would be big enough to support that picture. So, to incorporate that picture here would take quite a bit of change. And now my decision is, which one of these schemes do I like best? What decorating style and what am I gonna pursue? Am I gonna change this up or am I, am I going to leave it the same? I do love this picture and I, I love to have it. This is the only wall that I have for this picture because that picture is is wider than the one I'm going to put up. It's not taller, but it is wider. So I'll have to make some decisions. Sorry. I'll have to make some decisions on whether I'm going to keep this or what I'm going to do. There is absolutely no other place for me to put that picture on any wall that I have here in the dining room. And that's kind of where I would like to see it. But I'm not opposed to changing it up and putting it in a different area if that's what I decide to do. Now I've got all of this art here that I've been dragging out because I'm going to decide what I'm going to keep and what I'm going to get rid of. I've already gave quite a bit of it away. But I am going to go through all of this and decide what, what I'm going to use.
Now, I had these hanging up for years. I loved these. There's two of these prints. Donald bought these, and I, I, loved, I loved this style. I had these hanging up, but I didn't... Uh, I didn't leave them up. I changed them out. Now, this is something that I really, really do love, too. This is a Salvador Dolly print, and it's got the bread in the basket, and it's got that beautiful napkin or tablecloth there under that basket. And, of course, it's got a little bit of a moody background, so it fit right in. And I did have this hanging where I had it hanging right here before I did the candy cane lane. And I may put that print back. Not sure which direction I'm going to go in. So I'm finding myself in a dilemma. Trying to pinpoint what I want to live with. Now I love all kinds of art. I mean I appreciate art in every form. I, I, I just love it. Now I cannot house everything that I love in this little house. I have a small house, and there's not a lot of walls in a lot of uh, of the rooms. It's kind of um, the way it's built. There are just there's just limited space for what I can hang. Now there are things that I'm going to have to decide. Well, what do I want to put, and where do I want to put them? So I'm in the process of doing that, trying to decide what I want to put my. Uh, what art, how am I going to decorate? How am I going to incorporate some of the things that I love into some of the areas that I have to decorate? You know, decorating, it not only needs to be beautiful, but it also has to be functional. You know, I've, I've spoke with you before on that. I have to have a functioning space. I have a lot of people in this little house, and as much as I love art and things, I've got to really narrow it down. So I am in the process of doing that now, trying to decide what style I'm going to have in here in this dining area. Now, for, for Valentine's Day, I just filled up some of these conversation hearts in these two jars, and I put them right here. And of course, now this is one of my favorite things that my kiddos love. They love to do this, to help me fill these up and to... And to the lid is loose. I know they've been getting candy. They'll they'll get candy until after Valentine's Day is over. And of course, I've left the snowman out because you know I love the snowman. And this is tea. This is tea that whoever visits can help themselves. I have a variety of really good teas in here. And they can just pick out whatever they want. I've got to figure out which art print to put back here. I've already got my Valentine's Day. Donald picked that. We got this at Sam's for my Valentine's Day. This is a, a Kaya wood a charcuterie boards. There's two of those in there. And they're just beautiful. So it was a great deal. They were $20. They had those marked down to $20. I mean, it would be hard to even get one for $20 more or less too. So I said, hey, that's perfect for my Valentine's Day. I'm not eating. I'm not going to eat candy anyway. You know, I'm cutting out sugar. So that wasn't something I could have anyway. And after 42 years of marriage, I have plenty of delicious, good, beautiful things that Donald's bought me over the years for birthdays, anniversaries, Valentine's Day. So I was very thankful to get these. This is what I told him that I wanted, and that's what he got. And I like those. I'm looking forward to opening those up and using them. Not only will that be pretty to decorate with, but that will also be beautiful to use. Now over here I've got my sourdough bread and I've got my KitchenAid out because I'm going to mix my sourdough uh, with the KitchenAid this time just to make things smoother. Now I've got this little uh, plate that I put out. I always change it right here and use them as spoon rest and I like them to be a good size. I don't know if you can tell by my hand how big that is. Now I had one for Valentine's Day and I like them kind of flat like this. If they have a raised edge on them, they're harder to use. So uh, for every holiday, I change this out and I put a different little dish here. Now, I love this little winter dish and I'll leave this out. I have lost my holiday heart that 
that's for Valentine's Day. I've looked through everything and I couldn't find it. I found the one for Easter, but I couldn't find the one for Valentine's Day. So I thought, well, I'll get online, you know, I'll get on Amazon and just order one and replace that one until I find it and then I'll have two, right? Well, I ordered this little plate and of course on Amazon it looked huge and I didn't take the time to measure out, to look at the measurements and put them down on a piece of paper paper so I could visually see how big this thing was going to be and you can see it's very tiny it's very tiny compared to the one that I use for a spoon rest so I won't be able to use this little dish for a spoon rest other than for tea so I said well I can't use it for a spoon rest here on the stove but I have some that are just plain white that are rectangular and different different styles so if I need to just use one of those for Valentine's Day I will and I'll just use this one for my tea, but that's a, that's a little something I thought I'd share with you. You know, it's funny. That's one of the reasons I love to go pick out stuff in real life. I love to look at it before I buy it because it saves a lot of hassle of having to take things or send things back all the time. This little thing, I, it was much smaller than I thought it was going to be. Now, I do have two little wooden-like wreaths that I'm wanting to choose between to decide that what I'm going to hang up on the front door and what I'm going to leave behind. Now this, my little uh, screw that's up here above the door knocker and underneath here is the peep hole. I do not want to cover this peep hole up. It's important in the city to be able to look out quickly. You know, you can always look on your camera, but you can look out quickly. Uh, through a peep hole if somebody's at the door. So I don't really want to cover my peep hole up. I'm going to hang this one up and see if it covers up the peep hole. So that'll be a deciding factor on whether or not I'll be. And see, you can see it covers up the peep hole. I love the little wooden wreath. I think it's adorable and it'd be perfect for Valentine's Day. But I can't have it covering up my peep hole. I used this one last year, and it covers up the peep hole too. Now I could lower it, but I don't want to punch a lot of holes. I don't want to put a lot of holes in this metal door. And I don't think that I'm going to be able to use either one of these. What I might do is just change that wire to a much longer wire. If I could get it to hang down, about two more inches, then my peep hole would be where it needed to be. It would still be in the middle of that heart. So I may do that. I may adjust that wire hanger so that my I can see out of my peep hole. While I'm at the door, I thought I'd just share with you what kind of day we've got. It's another rainy day. It's, it hasn't been pouring rain, and it's not as cold as it has been. It's pretty warm. It's warmed up some. So it's still a beautiful day to me. Now I've still got my little snowman out here and I will keep him up until spring. I will keep the snowman up on the outside of the house until spring. So if I put a little wreath or anything on the door, it'll have to be one that's uh, on the door. I've got this little Let It Snow palette out here and my heart that my sister gave me, my heart rock that I love is out here. So I have the, the dilemma of the two hearts and what I need to hang on the door for Valentine's Day, but that's pretty simple. I'll figure that out with you, and on my next video, I'll try to share with you which one I chose. Other than that, I haven't done a lot of decorating for Valentine's Day. I think that may be my limit this year. I may just put out those few touches, and that'll be all I do for Valentine's Day this year. Of course, I decorated the bathroom, and I'll be sharing that with you in this video. So that's enough. That's enough touches for Valentine's Day. Now, down here in the foyer, I try to always do spring. Because I love spring flowers, and I love gardening, and so this always pretty much sticks to a spring uh, kind of decor. So that's what I have down here. Of course, over here is a mirror. I love the bird, birds, eggs, and that kind of uh, 
theme, watering cans, spring flowers, and all of that will be coming up before we know it. Now, I do have this little heart down here just sitting here as we go in and out, and that's for Valentine's Day. But not much else. I maybe could change our harp. I, I've had this hanging on the door for years, and what it does is it lets me know when this door opens. I can tell when this door is open because when you're when you have a foyer like this, you're down the foyer is down here and you have to kind of come and look down to see who's coming in. And that that's the reason I have that little bell so I know when this door opens. Well, I have a lot of work to get done around here. I've got a lot of things that I've got to get on top of. I've got some planning I have to do. I've got some narrowing down of what I'm going to do as far as I decorate. So there's a lot going on. I'll have the grandkids that'll come at 1130. And then I won't have very much time for creative energy because it'll be taking my physical energy just to take care of them, to engage in conversation, to teach and to talk with them and to feed them and make sure all their needs are met. So I'm, I'm telling you, sometimes it can be a real challenge. I am still eating out of the pantry. I still am doing part of the pantry challenge. I'll share that with you when there's anything new or different. We're eating our muffins. I had those blueberry muffins I fixed on the, uh, day 24. I had those for breakfast this morning. I had one for breakfast. Donald had one for a snack last night. So we've been enjoying those. And probably tonight we'll have oyster stew. I have a video on how I fix oyster stew, I'm pretty sure. If I don't, then I will have to make a video and share that with you. Thank you for joining me today. and Let me share you, with you my decorating thoughts for today and what's going on around. I hope you're having a wonderful day and everything is good for you. I hope you come back again and like always, until next time.